Hey, bud. Hey, uh, first, uh, Thomas, Nicole, thank you. Thank you for taking a little time to talk about this awesome series. Thank you, congratulations. Awesome. So I want to start with a fun question. I, I, I am completely freaked out by snakes, alligators, and even small lizards. So I want to know, would you guys survive in an environment like this, like a day? What are you scared of? Uh, Thomas, you first. <laughs> Thomas would survive. Thomas would have uh, Well, it's, you know, I guess it feeds into the title of the show, which is Tropo, which is an Australian slang for literally being driven crazy by the tropical heat. Um, and uh, and it, it takes, uh, they are made of strong stuff. The Australians, especially the Australians who live in the northern part of the country, they are a different breed. They, do, they are tough. They are tough people. And be, they have to be in order to just survive up there. I mean, every other animal could kill you. Um, and I like them. I, I love the Australians. Probably in large part because of that, because they're just tough sons of bitches and, and, and that great sense of humor too. Nicole. Yeah, I, I wouldn't survive. Uh, you do. You, Thomas is absolutely right. Like you have to be, you have to have your wits about you all the time. And that's exhausting. <laughs> I don't, I, right. you know, I'm not be, I mean, it was so much fun to play with the animals and, but to know that we were safe to do so gave me the freedom and it was like the snakes and the, God, the lizards and the geese and the dogs. And it was awesome. It was like being in a zoo every day. Yeah, I, I, I got to play with the geese, but Nicole, you, oh, it seemed like every other day she was surrounded by snakes. Always. And, and always. venomous snakes, like snakes that will kill you. Yeah. Yeah. The King Brown. Yeah. Anyways, um, I, I, well, let's, let's dive into a little bit of your characters. Um, your, both of your characters have a, have a lot to prove. Uh, personally, uh, in your opinion, why are their motivations? What what do your characters have to prove? Are their motivations for getting to you know through this uh, without giving too much away, getting through this investigation? What are the motivations of your characters? Uh, Nicole, you first. Um, I think uh, I think my character is just trying to find her identity and find out who she is outside of this really awful experience that that happened um yeah I think I think her relationship with Lars is really important um by solving that story I think uh it means a lot to her and her story but I think it's about identity and just finding a place in the world I think she was taken out of it at a really young age going to jail at 15 like you know her sense of self was completely shattered and uh and so I just think she's trying to find who she is yeah there's a a number of different mysteries in in the show that candace fox has really expertly woven together to to form the uh the first novel crimson lake and uh you know it's an interesting question because when when you're trying to solve a mystery uh, in my opinion, if it's if it's an, any good, if the story's any good, you're actually trying to solve the mystery of your own life. And these two have been broken by traumatic experiences, very different, very different people, very different experiences. But the outcome was the same for both of them. They have been shattered. Their lives have been shattered and they deal with it in different ways. And and really, they're so different as characters, but they have that one thing in common. And, and so that becomes the thing that really the, they can't even really talk to other people because they haven't been they haven't been through that trial by fire. I mean, I think you all did a great, great, great job with, with your characters. But Thomas, I got to ask you, um, you're also producing, you'll be producing for a while, but also, you're, you're also a producer in here with your company. And I wonder, it's, you know, I know fandoms are also so critical when it comes to uh, adapting uh, novels to TV. I'm sorry, what, oh, what's critical? The, the, the fandoms, you know, fans who... Oh, fans of the book, fans yeah, of the yeah, graphic fans novel, of the fans yeah. of the original material, yeah. yeah. You know them, they all really care about when a wife goes into the series, you're producing, when you put that producer, producer hat on, um, how important is it for you, you know, just, just to stay, you know, as, as faithful as you can to what 
it, given the constraints of TV, obviously, but how important that is that for you? Right. So there are very different mediums. So you're already up against it, because, trying to adapt a novel into a film, a graphic novel into a film. It, they're already up against some challenges because you do have to reshape the story a little bit uh, in order to just simply make it fit in, into a, a window that, you know, we've got, you know, what, uh, an hour to tell this story and, and we got, you know, eight hours <laughs> total and we got to cram that novel I into there so that you're already up against it. I think it's for me very important that I try to protect what we love most about the novel, you know, what we love most about the material, the characters, the main events that happen to these characters and the story uh, overall, you, you, you really want to protect that and do, and, and there's a lot of different cooks in the kitchen, you know, there's producers who are watching the clock. Uh, there's different actors, there's directors who bring, so why it's fun. And we started our company renegade in 2019, uh, with Courtney Penn, but because we, wanted the opportunity to protect the original material that we see get adapted so many times, you know, in, in the, I mean, there's so, countless novels, countless graphic novels, countless movies are then readapted. And we want to, you know, we, we have our opportunity to plant the flag and say, this is a damn story and we're not going to change it. <laughs> we're going to uh, stick to it. <laughs> Would you guys be great? Australian, uh, yeah. right, the, Australian audio, the Australian fans of the novel who have yeah. already seen it love it. Like it's been, it's been so overwhelmingly positive. It's made me very happy, very oh, happy. That's so, great. Yeah. That's great news. I, I was wondering about that. You yeah. guys did great. You guys did great. No, 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 nobody can say anything else. Thomas, yeah, Nicole, thank you. Thomas, you're still my punisher. Nobody can say that anything <laughs> else. So thank you again and congratulations. Thank you, thank sir. You.